Hey, what's up team? Hope Strong Side Nation is out there having a blast today. Uh, I'm actually up in Ohio today. We unfortunately had a death in the family and we came up here for a couple days. We have the funeral stuff today and I'm super sad, but that's why I'm up here in Ohio. And uh, I just got done with the hotel gym, came down here for a little bit and I pounded it out on that elliptical, bro. I haven't ridden an elliptical in a hot minute. Just did 40 minutes of intervals on that thing. And when I was doing it, what I started thinking about was was closing the gap. And I have always defined success as closing the gap between where you're at and your potential. No matter what you're trying to do. It could be lose weight, it could be financial, it could be, you know, get good grades in school, whatever. Close the gap between where you're at and your potential, what you think you can do, and that really defines your success. And you know, for me, when I look back at my life and I think about any time that I've reached any goal or closed the gap or started being more successful, it was always based on action and the amount of consistent action that I took, big or small. You see, I weigh less now than when I was 13. When I was 13, I was 5'5", five five, I was 200 pounds, and I hated everything about myself. That is, I was shorter and heavier than what I am today at 34, right? And it was, it was, I, was, I was that way, not because of laziness or being unmotivated, because believe me, I did not want to be overweight. I was highly motivated to figure this thing out. It was always based on action. And it was always based on like, I would put it off till tomorrow. It was always, you know, when school's over, I'll lose weight during the summer. Uh, I gotta hang out with family tonight, I'll eat well tomorrow. It was, I always put stuff off. It was like king procrastination because I thought there needed to be this like big life-changing event and these crazy levels of action to just get started. Not, it wasn't until I realized that I only needed to put mayonnaise on half the sandwich that I would start seeing results. It wasn't until I realized that like when I was out riding my bicycle to try to lose weight, when I got tired is when I needed to push a little bit harder. When I'm trying to go for 15 pushups and at 13 I get really tired, I just needed to do the two more. I just needed to start doing something. That's all that I had to do. And today we had about a two hour gap. We, I went to breakfast with the family. We have about two hours where we gotta get ready to he head over to everything. And I could have taken a nap. I, I, I could have just blown it off. I could have just made an excuse, but there's nothing going on for two hours. So I had to make the hard decision of, look, I, I feel better when I work out. I'm happier. I feel like my body looks better. I'm proud of myself. Like I have nothing but good things from working out. I didn't need some full gym. This is it. What you're seeing is the gym. I'm about to go do some pull-ups and that's it. But I just needed to start. And as we enter this new year, you might be wrapped up in like new year, new me and like changing your whole life like now. Like, look, that's great and I hope you do, but ain't nothing gonna change unless you change. And the only way that you can change is small measurable action day in and day out. Just put one stinking foot in front of the other. Do a little thing, join the gym today and then just go tomorrow, be present. And when you're working out, don't check your phone. Like really just be present, do your thing and give it 100% while you're there. You know, like, well, I, like I said earlier, it wasn't about cutting mayonnaise out of my sandwiches completely. It was about going from mayonnaise on both sides to mayonnaise on one side. I remember that specifically because I did Weight Watchers and they made us count points and only had enough points for one side of the sandwich. But it was about small things, about going from soda with sugar in it to... Uh, I don't know, we got our soda at like the Dollar General, it was like La Quinta soda or whatever. But, uh, but it was you know, soda without sugar, right? It was, uh, but that's what it is. And that's what I'm gonna encourage you to do. And I just want you to do something. Just get started and take some small measurable action, right? So look, I'm gonna put a link below and I want you to just get started. I want you to come to the gym. I'm gonna give you seven days free to come try out any strong side that you want. If you fill out the link below, somebody from our team is gonna get you set up and you can just start. You don't need this crazy, massive, insane, clean out your pantry thing. You just need to come today. That's all you need to do, all right? So look, I wanna get you involved. I wanna get you involved so you can start taking a step forward so you can start saying, hey, I don't wanna be this way anymore. I wanna look and feel a different way. That's what we're gonna do is get you started, all right? So look, that's my story, my journey. I'm here to help you. My mission is to make sure that nobody ever has to feel the way that I did at 13 when I was paralyzed with lack of knowledge, lack of motivation, lack of understanding, lack of community. We want to give all that to you so you don't have to go through what I did at 13 years old and how terrible I felt. And uh, so we're going to get you started. Click the link below. I'll see you there. Somebody from our team will get you set up. And uh, let's go, Strong Side Nation.